I got a call to remove bees from one of the weirdest places ever, this toilet. The bees had been living in the tank of this toilet for years, and they filled the entire space with comb and had no room left to grow. So I got to work removing the hive. Everything I removed from the original hive was safe for the bees to have in their new home. Here's what the comb looked like. This piece had honey at the top, pollen below, and brood on the bottom. I spent a lot of time carefully removing each piece of comb. This was a happy and healthy colony of honeybees, and they were not stinging me at all. After I removed all of the comb, the toilet was still full of bees, which told me the queen was in there. Suddenly, I saw her crawling up the side of the tank. I put her in a clip to keep her safe, and I placed her in the new hive. Then I made a little bee bridge that led straight to the queen so the bees could easily get to their new hive. It worked, and the bees marched right in. After the bees started to recognize the bee box as their new home, I closed up the hive, I waited for the colony to move into the box, then we drove home and it was another great day of saving the bees. There was a big beehive under the floor of this shed, but as soon as I started to remove the hive, most of the bees moved to the outside wall, so I started to scoop the bees into the new hive with my hands. As a professional beekeeper, I've learned how to read the bees' behavior and I could tell that these bees were calm and did not want to sting me. They just wanted to get into their new hive. So I kept scooping bees off the wall while looking for the queen bee. When the bees are gentle, I prefer to wear as little protective gear as possible. The less gear I'm wearing, the more dexterity and agility I have. After scooping most of the bees off the wall, I didn't see any signs of the queen. So I went back in the shed to look for her, and there she was, surrounded by her attendant bees. I put her in a clip to keep her safe, and as soon as I put the queen in the new hive, all of the other bees followed her pheromones and went into the new hive on their own. I waited for all the bees to get into their new home, then I closed up the hive, and it was another great day of saving the bees. I got a call to remove a colony of bees from this backyard compost bin, and here's how I did it. First, I started to carefully remove the comb structure of the hive. I fit the pieces of comb that had baby bees and the bees' food into wooden frames. Next, it was time to start scooping bees into the new hive. I always wear protective equipment when I need to, but since I work with bees almost every day, I've learned to read their behavior and could tell that these bees, like most honeybees, were very gentle and would not try to sting me. So I kept removing comb and removing bees from the bin all while looking for the queen bee. After I removed most of the bees, I saw the queen crawling up the side of the bin, so I put her in a clip to keep her safe. She's the largest bee in the colony, which makes her a little easier to find. There she is. I put the queen in the new hive and all the other bees started to follow her in. I had to get a bigger hive because there were so many bees, but after most of them went in the hive, I closed it up and carried it back to my truck and it was another great day of saving the bees.